son. That's good, uh, Knox. 105, that ain't bad shit. I don't want to tell you what I paid. <laughs> Uh, caller, what's your name? Where you calling for? What you want to talk about? Patty Cake, Patty Cake, microwave in the building. What up, Chief? Uh, uh, I'm good, good, man. I was just laughing. Miss Morgan said, Chief, don't you mean 1940? She got them jokes. <laughs> 1940, yeah, man. Y'all in there talking about child support. I don't want to. I, I had to call and interrupt this, man. Let's talk about something else. <laughs> my, po- my pockets is bleeding right now, man. I know, man. I know. Hey, bro. I feel for you, too, man. I know how that is, man. You know, shit. Hey, man. It's rough out there, man, to be a player like us. But anyway, Mike Wade, yes, what's on your mind, bro? You know, there's a lot of shit going on, man. You know what I'm saying? Oh, oh, oh I know something I want to say to you. How the fuck did Syracuse make the damn tournament? That's what I need to say to you. Straight up. Well, we got to play. Hey, 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 man, I didn't. I, 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 well, I don't know, Chief. Like I said, I thought we were close enough to where we could make it. Uh, I thought we'd have been the lowest seed, but, you know, to have a, a, a playing game or whatever, I'm, I'm, I'm cool with all of that. You know, so we got, yeah, we got every year that Syracuse get in that we're not supposed to get in, we go far. So we'll see, man. We'll see. Well, because you know, I might uh, have to go. You know, you know, I got to go make another bracket with Syracuse winning everything. You know, I got to <laughs> have my homer bracket. <laughs> and you know what? You just may, you just may gain on the luck by doing that shit, man. Because I remember one year they just barely made it, and look what they. That was two years ago. We made, yeah. we made to the final four. Yeah, yeah. two years ago. We were we weren't even supposed to make the tournament that year. And then last year, when we had a better record than we did that year, we last year we didn't we didn't make it in. So we'll see. Maybe we can make some noise, man. Yeah, yeah, uh, uh, K3 Dallas said, Chief, I can bet that my biological only gave me $5 one time and $10 another time. The few times I stayed at, uh, at their house after I was 12, I never felt accepted. But Gil, he said, but Gil, that, it made me a beast of a father. So to him, I forgive you and thank you. Big ups to you, K3000. You know what I'm saying? And uh, K3000, man, K3000. K3000, you know, not to put his business out there. K3000 grinding, man. K3000, the man down there in Virginia, what he do. Big ups to you, yeah, bro. You know he, he making up for all that, man. Big ups, bro. But yeah, yeah man. It can uh, go either way. It, it can go either way. The same thing, like, you know, you got something for, like, my cousin Fred. His mom used to beat the shit out of me and him. And he's never beat, he, he never whooped his, now nah, I whooped the shit out of my kids if they make me. He right. never he never laid a hand on his daughter, you know, but like, uh, you know, I never knew my dad either. You know, I wanted to make right. sure that, you know, when my kids came along that they'd never had to worry about that. Right, right, right. That I, I, You know, uh, that's why when my first was born, man, I made sure that uh, I kept him in, in distance, you know, because uh, that's your first born, you know, no matter how evil his mother was. You know, that's your firstborn, and uh, he was a boy, too. You know I definitely had to keep up with him. But then I had another boy in marriage. Man, I was feeling like I was on top of the motherfucking world. <laughs> 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 uh, yeah, bro, definitely that, man. But, yeah, Syracuse, when they play, tonight or tomorrow night? Play tomorrow night. And I got to okay. work tomorrow night, too, so I'm going to have to record it. Yeah, yeah, damn. Damn sure do, man. They play tomorrow night. Oh, uh, that's yeah. I think um, I think Li who Liu Brooklyn played what they play today, right? They played this uh, evening at six forty. Uh, Liu Brooklyn having a good season, man. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Um, uh, yeah, they finally made it back to the tournament, man. Uh, I had a homeboy right, um, uh, that went to Orange High in Jersey. Yeah, Li, they play Rapid tonight. Uh, that uh played out of Jersey, a school called Orange High. Named Robert Cole, yeah. he went to, he went to uh, LIU. Uh, this joke used to average fifty points a game in high school, man. Fifty a game. Damn. His team, his team used to score about almost a hundred a game. It was in the high nineties or either over hundred. You know what I'm saying? That team went to the uh, the championship in the Meadowlands, man. You know, so uh, big up to big up to Robert Cole, man. He played. Matter of fact, when you came over the house, remember the picture I have in the garage. Where uh, it was a basketball team, and uh, we took a picture standing. We we took a picture in the Meadowlands. We had just won yeah, the championship. Yeah, 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 yeah. he's in that picture. He played on that uh, corporate, my corporate league team. Oh, okay. Man. Oh, yeah. okay. 
Hey, ain't, uh, um, ain't Lamar Odom's old school in there? Rhode Island, URI? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Rhode Island, they, they, yeah. They, they actually, they're actually in the top 25 uh, uh-huh. poll-wise and all that stuff, man. So uh, let's see if they can do something and see if they can make some noise. You know we like to uh, root for them up north teams and all that stuff, man. And I know you uh, I know you got big love for Seton Hall and all that, and I know they let you down last year, but man. maybe they can make some noise this year, man. <laughs> yeah, they, hey, hey, man. They got everybody but set for the, uh, the guard that left last year and playing with the Nets and shit, man. They got everybody else, man. So uh, yeah, you know, every year, every year there's there's a player or two that really make a, a, a NBA case for themselves, upperclassmen that come in there and have a great tournament and, and, and end up getting you know picked in the draft. You remember a couple a uh, few years back? You remember what Shabazz Napier did? You know what I'm saying? And then he caught the eye of LeBron James. And LeBron, even though he was leaving Miami, he got uh-huh. Miami to draft him. Yeah, ain't that some shit there, man? I know he uh-huh. regretting that. Remember Kemba Walker? Kemba had a hell of yeah. a tournament. Right, right. Yeah, that was that That was that was surprise Connecticut team, man. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, that was the team that um, Ali coached. The yeah, the Kevin Ali was coaching. Yeah, yeah. Right, Kemba Walker right. now. Wow, that's big, man. Big time on that one, man. But, uh, hey, man, how, what you feel about um, Popovich, man, you know? Um, hey, man, he, he's a hell of a fine coach, man, but you can't bleed motherfucking wins out of, you know, goddamn copper penny, you know, shit. That's all he got left now is a copper penny, man, because, man, those, them bitches look bad last night, man. Yeah, they do, and I think depending on, I was watching that game, too, and, 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 and uh, I turned back, I'm like, man, these dudes getting throttled. Um, but you know they 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 missing a superstar, and San Antonio for whatever reason is not like a, a place that seems to land a lot of marquee free agents. Yeah, they got Lamarcus Aldridge to go there, but you know I mean, you know I mean it's not a whole lot of people that were just salivating at the mouth of Lamarcus Aldridge. And even then, after he went there, he had a bad season. He bounced back with a good one this year, but it's you know he's having a good season when Kawhi ain't there. When Kawhi was there, you're looking at Lamarcus Aldridge like, well, damn dude, ain't you an all star? You know, Paul Gasol is, is way too long in the tooth right now. He's just still collecting paychecks. Um, and I don't know. I mean, you, you looked at it earlier in the year, and you're like, all right, well, San Antonio's still making noise. And then now all of a sudden, because in the West spots 3 through 9, actually 3 through 10, are so damn compacted, San Antonio might not make the playoffs, man. Right, right. Yeah, because um, those teams that was down at the bottom before San Antonio slipped down there, uh, shit, they got a lot of momentum going with them. You know what I'm saying? And San Antonio just like it's like they stuck in quicksand, you know. So, hey man, they they got to do something, bro. That's definitely they got to do something, man. But uh, shit, man, what you what, what what you think about what's going on? What you think about what's going on out here today, man? In anything, man, because there's so much shit going on in, in all sports: college basketball, NBA. Man, I'm looking NFL. I'm looking at. Yeah, I know. Like it's it's it's. It, it, it's crazy. It's like March Madness, and then you got the legal tampering period for the NFL where teams can talk to players, yeah. you know, legally and all that stuff. So now Kirk Cousins goes to Minnesota. Um, if I'm Minnesota, if I'm a fan of the Minnesota Vikings, I'm not happy. Uh-huh. Uh, me in particular, I look at Kirk Cousins, I look at Kate Keenum, and I say I don't, I don't see the difference in the two of them. But right. the only difference that I would say is that Kate Keenum actually can move and Kirk Cousins can't. So... I would have rather had kept Case Keenum's probably like franchise him for one year, you know, right. paid him whatever the franchise number would be for one year, re-sign Teddy Bridgewater, you know what I'm saying, get him a little bit more healthy and then move forward that way. But I'm damn sure not going to bring in no quarterback at, for $84 million who's never won a playoff game just because he says you like that. Nah, I'm right. not doing it. Right, right. You're right about that, bro. Definitely that. Um, uh, and like I, like I made a point to BAB earlier. You know, I, I knew he was going to call in when I started talking about Cousins, right? But what I've been trying yeah. to make a point to him earlier is, right, uh, it's not that I'm talking about Cousins because I like the bitch or anything like that. It's just that, I mean, three teams wanted him. Really? Three teams uh, really wanted him. The other team's been dropped out when they seen that the price that he wanted, right? But three teams wanted him. They, they want to uh, really fuck their teams up just to get this cat, right? And he ain't, he haven't done nothing. What have he done? You know what I'm saying? He, he ain't, ain't done, done nothing. nothing. And it ain't like he, he didn't have no tools. Man. He had some tools when he had 
of Deshaun Jackson there. Who else Deshaun he had Jackson, there? Pierre Garçon, Garçon, Jordan Reed. Yeah, they got a yeah. good running game out there. You know, he 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 hasn't lacked any weapons, man. Yeah, he really so, hasn't. So, and Jameson Crowder, let's not forget about him too. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, he's a receiver. So, well, I mean, Kirk Cousins really ain't the guy. I mean, I guess you look at it and you say if you're Minnesota and you feel like. You're a quarterback away. Maybe you want to go out there and get him, but he's not the guy you want to get. Like, why? Why not keep Case Keenum? You know what I'm saying? If Case Keenum goes to Denver, I think that's actually a good pickup. Now, I'm not going to say Case Keenum is no world beater, but right. what I saw from him last year basically is telling me is if you can put him in the right system, he can do some things. You know what I'm saying? He's not going right. to go out there and, and, and set the world on fire every year, but if you can put him in a good system, you know he he played for the Texans. I mean, hell, until Deshaun Watson, the Texans never had a quarterback. Um, and then and then he played for Jeff Fisher, you know, with the Rams. And, I mean, it's Jeff Fisher. So I, I wasn't one that was really going to hold it against Case Keenum. And like I said, a lot of folks are like, yeah, I know RC. A lot of Vikings fans weren't sold on Keenum. So they were like, well, we just waiting for him to turn back into the other Case Keenum. It was a defense that got 33 points hung up on him. Right, 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 right. Yeah, so I don't know. Then you got Drew Brees signing for what, 50 million out in um – uh, uh, resigning with with New Orleans for fifty million, I mean, I guess that's not bad. You know, you figure twenty five million. It's, it's really a one year deal because the uh-huh. team is a team option after the first year, but it's a no trade clause. So basically, they just he just want to make sure he can finish his career as a New Orleans Saint. Um, but yeah, so I mean, I, he'll, he'll probably play the next two years, get his little fifty million right off to the sunset, and then Sean Payton is going to be looking for his replacement. So I wonder they'll probably draft a quarterback this year. Right. Oh, uh, yeah. It's but man, be nice. I like what Cleveland been doing though. Yeah, Cleveland. Cleveland. Um, man, see, this, that's what makes it interesting right now, right? Because um, this is what um, uh, shit. Um, uh, uh, what's the coach name? Uh, I, I, I'm 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 fucked up. What's Cleveland coach name? Hugh Jackson. Yeah, Hugh Jackson. This is what Hugh Jackson thinking right now. Hugh Jackson. Wants to get a quarterback, but nobody know what quarterback he want to get, cause he never tipped his hand. You know what I'm saying? Hugh Jackson want to get a quarterback, right? The top five quarterbacks, um, Deshaun Jack, uh, uh, Lamar Jackson is in it, right? So mm-hmm. he know he can get a back with that number four pick, even though if the Giants go ahead and get Barkley, he know he can get a back because he know uh, the Colts want a quarterback, and who else? Uh, Denver. Don't need a quarterback, right? So he know that uh, neither one of them gonna get a back because uh, Denver don't have money to pay a back right now. If, I don't care if he's a rookie or not because they got what two backs on their team, two or three backs on their team. So you know they ain't gonna yeah, get no back. Yeah, they got uh, C.J. Anderson and now uh, yeah, yeah. So they got a couple backs on their team. You know, Denver really didn't have that much cash space to begin with. Um, right. but they freed up a little bit. They freed up a little bit when they when they traded away um, a key to lead. But I mean, when I look at it, um, Cleveland. If you don't if you don't get Saquon Barkley number one, I wouldn't draft a running back with the number four spot. Because well, you look at Kareem Hunt, you look at Alvin Kamara. Yeah. There's always going to be a dominant. Yeah, look at yeah. Corey Clement for the Philadelphia Eagles who, who caught right. that touchdown in the Super Bowl. He was right. undrafted as a running back, and he played big role once Smallwood went down. He played a big role for uh, for the Eagles down the stretch. So if you really look at it, if you're not getting Saquon Barkley with that number one pick, he's not going to be there at four. So, you know, if you don't get him with the number one pick, you might as well just try to get, you know, a, a Sony Michelle or, you know, in, 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 in the second round or something. But I just feel like they need to grab Chubb. I mean, they need to grab uh, a Saquon Barkley because – no one, I don't know how many teams are really that high on Lamar Jackson. I heard there's a couple teams that feel like he's the second best quarterback out. So with that being said, you got maybe one or two, maybe four teams that might draft him, but who's going to go up in the first round and go get him? Maybe Cleveland's one of those teams that looked at him as the second best quarterback. When you look at Cleveland, you look at Hugh Jackson. Hugh Jackson don't got no problem with no black quarterback, which is why he had Deshaun Kaiser last year. Now, he was really not committed with Deshaun Kaiser, but he made a trade to go out and get Tyrod Taylor. So you figure he wants a quarterback who's not going to make too many mistakes and who can actually move. You know what I'm saying? When everything breaks down, why wouldn't he take Lamar Jackson? Right, because I'm not sold on um, uh, USC and UCLA quarterback. You know, I'm, I'm saying Rosen and Darn- well, yeah. Darnold. Darnold, I don't. First of all, he looks funny. Um, second of all, 
you know, he turns the ball over a lot. I mean, and I, I'm not just talking about interception. I'm talking about fumbles. You know, his hands aren't that big. So you figure if you were at the collegiate level in the damn Pac-12,